Okay, so hey there everyone, this is K-pop. This is Asian Music Base Museum. So um yeah, time to announce the winner. So yeah. So Right now, I'm trying to see if the winner of the giveaway. Um, see, I had the two week giveaway going on about giving away merch sets to just a random, random fan. So, who has been subscribed, who has subscribed to the channel and checks it out every day, um, you know, leaves comments and all that stuff. And, well, um, to be kind of fair and impartial so everyone gets a chance to win, I use random comment papers. I usually say that picks a comment randomly to make it a little more easier and fair for everyone because if I pick a comment that I really do like, you know, I'm it, it may say that I, I don't like other people's comments, so you know, I want to kind of keep it fair where everyone gets a chance to win. So I did a random comment paper, and the winner is actually. Um, she actually she actually has her own YouTube channel. She actually that I'm assuming it's a she. Um, she has her own lyrics for the K-pop. Um, and the winner is K-pop lyrics. So congratulations, K-pop lyrics. Sorry, whoops. I didn't even realize. It. Congratulations to K-pop lyrics. She is the winner of the um. She is the winner of the giveaway. Hopefully, I said that. Hopefully, it is a she. Um. By the way, um, K-pop lyrics. I do really love your channel. I like your lyrics videos. You make out of all of the people who make K-pop lyrics videos, I think you make the best ones. So I actually do appreciate. You. Channel, you make the best ones in my opinion. Like, but I, I honestly wish I could learn how to make those shows. But the thing is that I think it's gonna be really hard because you gotta get the timing correct and everything. Just the timing, I think, is the problem. I think everything else shouldn't be too hard. I think it's just getting the timing down is gonna be the hard part. And during the part where you show like which which member is singing which song, I think that's also a hard part too. But I just wanted to say, yeah, I mean, I mean, congratulations to her. Um, you guys won the stuff that I was giving away to the winner. Um, a beast on um, sticker set. Yeah, you'll be winning this sticker set along with a couple other merch items uh, which I'll be giving which I'll be um sending you pictures. Um you can email me or message me through Facebook and uh, um my Facebook name is the same name as this YouTube channel, Easy Music Basic. That's my fan page. It's not my official Facebook page, it's just my fan page for Facebook. So you can um follow me on my fan page or then you can just message me through the fan page or you can message me through my email. My email is um link in my at gmail.com. Um based off of like two of my favorite video game characters because well when I was younger, my parents told me not to make an email with my actual name when I was younger. Because I need an email for an email for school because my teacher would be emailing us stuff for our school. And well, yeah, so that's how that came up. But let's go play some old school K pop to kind of. And if I, if I had to answer those questions um, myself, the um, reason why I like K pop is just basically just due to the fact that, you know, 
it is it's a it's a it's a different type of genre of music and it gets you away from you know all the American music about drugs, sex and all that stuff. It's fun. Get you away from all that and I mean that and also it's kind of a relaxing genre of music to listen to like you, you can relax and listen to it in my opinion, like it's pretty relaxing. Hey. What's to say something that you know, it's very really relaxing. You can listen to it and you can feel relaxed. Whereas with American music is more just like music to pump you up. And the other reason is, um <clears throat> and the second question if you have no idea, the two group that I would want to bring back would be a tie between Miss A and um twenty one. For the girls. For the girls would be a tie between Miss A and twenty one, because I like them both. Those are my two top favorite old school keep up groups. I think Missy was like a really good group. I mean, the one that he disbanded, like I didn't even know he disbanded. Like I didn't even know that that only you was the last song they were gonna make. Like, I honestly didn't know how only you were going to be the last one that you were going to be. Well, I mean, actually good, actually. I'm pretty good. Yeah, so um, those are the groups that I would bring back for the girls. For the guys, if I were to bring back any group, it would probably be Econ, Econ and DEAP. Honestly, because those are the only two boy groups that I could think of that are disbanded. I can't think of any other groups that are disbanded for boy groups. Except for ones that only have like. Like a really short life. It'll be, um, be okay. All right. I forget what then. Be okay. Be okay. There you go. Well, a group that had a short lived life. Be okay would be the group that I would want to bring back because they only, honestly, were only around for like one song. And that was it. After that one song, they disbanded. But, um, yeah, guys, so, don't worry, we're going to be doing more giveaways in the future, more U.S. giveaways, more, okay. Yeah, but don't worry, we're going to be doing some more international U.S. I'm sure the boys very soon. During the next milestone point. I can't tell you when that's going to be, but it'll be in the future. Hopefully, it won't get quiet from all the old school songs. But yeah, guys. Um. Oh, thank you. And I'm also planning to do another giveaway later on this month for a um album giveaway on stream. So you guys can let me know what album you want to see given away this month. If you guys have an album you guys want to see given away, let me know. But congratulations, the winner again. Late winner is Keith Hendricks. So I think a couple albums you can pick from. Albums such as the TSNG album. If you don't see an album that you like here, I can always pick one up from the store. I I can stop by the store and pick one up. Um, let me know what album. Give me like a couple of choices because 
the stores may not have all the albums. So, I mean, I'll probably go to town, the store in town, because there's two two stores close close by each other, like maybe like a five minute walk from each other, so I can go to two stores at once. So I can check out one store. If they don't have the album you're looking for. I can go to the next store. I'll probably change up the questions though, because if I keep the same questions for the BTS quiz, then whoever took my BTS quiz before would know all the answers. We also got this Pentagon album that was going to be, that's actually in the good one. As much as I don't want to avoid my choice albums, because I'm a huge one, this was actually put into the giveaway. I actually had the poster and the, po the poster for this album, which is right next to my desk, and the poster looks exactly like this. Yeah, I see, if you guys want to see a red velvet giveaway, I will give away a red velvet album giveaway. I can make like a red velvet quiz. Or if you guys want to see like a Yeah, I love Twice. They're, they're my number one group. And I'm also putting up the BTS map of the Total Persona album. Um, because I'm probably going to buy myself another version of this album. As a choice. I mean, I like the V for required, but I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm always hoping for like a sugar. Sugar or Jimin. Like, either sugar or Jimin, but I never get like. Um, for the card, and that's pretty much it. And I never get Jimmy, though. I'm hoping for Jimmy. I'm also putting this up for the giveaway as well. This is what well, this is actually put up for the giveaway. This is June Catch's um, album, my first June Catch album for Instability. So yeah, um, and we still get some more photo cards and stickers and stuff. I'm not going to show those because those that I grab out and, but those I will be taking pictures in, in the next couple of days. I'll be sending you pictures, um, of stuff that you can pick from and then just give me all, all the shipping information, everything, everything I would need to send it off to the post office and then I send it out. Um, we might be doing an international giveaway pretty soon. I don't know what I'm going to be. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be giving away, but I'll probably be doing another giveaway. I might actually, I might actually think we're doing like a Facebook, um, like, a uh, probably like a, um, Facebook exclusive giveaway. So if you guys want to follow me for a Facebook exclusive giveaway. Oh, yeah, yeah, um. Those are the albums she can pick from. Those aren't. I'm not giving her all those albums. No, no, no. She can pick one album out of those. Oh, is she got to pick all those albums? Oh, sure. That would be the luckiest thing ever. But no, no. I, I, she can pick from those albums. And it always, if you doing, always if you do a U.S. giveaway with me, and you don't find the album that you, uh, album that you like from my collection of albums. Then I will actually um buy you an album from a, from the store here because there are because I usually go to the store in downtown and they get like two locations like right next to each other so there's just two different stores like less than five minutes apart from each other so I go to one store if you don't have it I go to the next store so there's a store called NCAT which I go I do like a lot of my K-pop shopping at NCAT I do like I the one in town they know me pretty well like I go there like couple times a month, maybe like two times a month or so to buy stuff. So they, they know me pretty well over there. So I go to like two times a month usually. And then if they don't have the album there, then I can go like a five minute walk to the to the next grocery store. It's like a Japanese grocery store chain called Don Quixote. And they have a store in there called Beauty Pitch, which is 
I actually like a Korean beauty, um, beauty store where they sell beauty products, but they also sell key pop merch. So I just go there for the key pop merch. I don't go there for the Korean beauty products because, of course, I don't want I don't want to come out with beauty products. They tried to get me to take some, and I'm like, they tried to sell me some, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would like to go to another different keyboard store. Because NCAT is actually like a Asian, like a, like a store from Asia. Like, the two stores that I actually go to are actually stores from Asia that they brought here to Hawaii, which I, I don't blame them because, like, Hawaii is basically like a state full of Asians, like, but like everywhere you everywhere you go in Hawaii, there are just basically all Asians. So I don't blame them. You know what I mean? And no, and yeah. Um, also, I might be doing a Hawaii exclusive giveaway, which I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it or not. But I got so many people, from fans from Hawaii or fans or fans who wanna come to to Hawaii on um. That I have for my channel, but we're gonna be, we might be doing a Hawaii exclusive giveaway where we're gonna be giving away. Um, I might actually, I'm thinking about it right now. I haven't decided on whether or not I'm actually gonna do it or not, but I might be doing a Hawaii exclusive giveaway to give away um, J Pike tickets because J Pike is coming to Hawaii on the day before Thanksgiving. Literally the day before Thanksgiving, J Pike's coming here for a concert, so. If you actually, um, so I might actually do a giveaway for that. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to do the giveaway, but because I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to go to the concert myself, but I'm probably going to be doing a G5 concert giveaway. So, um, take your giveaway. So if you guys want to win, G5. I'm going to give away some G5 tickets to a lucky winner. Gcon is a really good group. Um, also, another group I would like to bring back is JJCC. Gcon though, they had like a short lived place back. Yeah, they should have had two concerts that came here, but I couldn't go to their first one because I got my boss approved me taking off. That's why I'm asking if I could still take off. He's like, no, which I was kind of upset about because I paid money for the concert. But luckily, I had insurance on it, so I got my money back for the concert tickets. But the first concert I was supposed to go to was for Obtention. They were coming here for a concert on the Sunday. Well, my boss still scheduled me to work a closing shift, and I was pretty pissed about that. When my other coworker just went to a concert yesterday and she requested off, and she actually got her day off and they didn't question her about it. When that day that I was that I asked for off for the concert, like they had like two people that could have covered my ship, but they never scheduled them. But yeah guys, so if I do go to the J Park concert this year, I will be doing some more filming. Um Supposedly, this is going to be his solo concert, so this is going to be him by himself. Supposedly, she's not going to be bringing Hoodie, not going to be bringing um, anyone else. It's going to be a solo concert. So, I don't know how many songs he's going to be doing. I, I'm i hoping this might be a long concert, because the last concert, it was like an hour and a half long to two hours at the most. And it felt like super short. It felt like we were just there, and then we were gone, like... It felt like we just went in and then we're done. Oh yeah, I want to go to the Twice concert too. You know, I actually ran. I actually, I actually, um, low key kind of ran into Twice. Like I actually ran. I actually saw like a couple of the members of, of Twice. Like I didn't actually get in on film or anything because I. I wasn't thinking at the time. I was just so in shock. But I saw, I saw them briefly while they were here in Hawaii. Like while they were in 
Hawaii filming some stuff, I briefly saw them from afar. Like, I was, like, pretty far away, but I, I, I saw, like, I think it was Momo, I think I saw, like, from afar. I got to see Momo from afar, and that was pretty, that was pretty cool. Like, they were here filming something for, like, a Japanese TV show as far as I am. Oh, yeah, I, I, I saw the Japanese comics. I, I like them. With some for this channel because I like them so much, but I just can't because of the fact that the fact that it's just basically like I can't I can't basically support the channel because Japanese music has so much heavy copyright. Like I got a copyright strike from the last Japanese song I did for um NCT One Twenty Seven I think when they did the Japanese comeback this year. Oh, for me, I like Happy Happy. Happy Happy is my song. I love myself Happy Happy. Like, Happy Happy is my favorite song. Like, I, I love that song so much. I'm actually thinking about buying the, buying the Breakthrough album, which is actually kind of strange because it doesn't come out until August, but the songs came out in, like, June. So I'm wondering, like, why it's coming out so late. Like, I checked in Amazon to get the release, and it said they can't get released in August. It's so strange. And then the stores here locally aren't going to get them for like a month afterwards. So I'll probably, if I buy them locally, I'm not going to get them until like s September. So I got to wait till like September time to get the album. Like September 2nd or so, something after that to get the albums because the stores here locally, they buy all, like, the thing that I like about buying locally is these stores, they buy the albums directly from Korea. So whatever, whatever money we spend here on buying the albums get put into the sale record. Might get put into sell records for Korea, which actually help out the group a lot, as far as I know. Okay, I'll guide the mail later. But yeah. Twenty's comments are really, really good. Actually, I I want to try. I'm I'm not actually going to check out the NBA. Yet. I'm going to listen to it because it's just, um like I'm actually going to be doing a live action tomorrow. Like actually watching all of these new NBA. So if you want to check them out tomorrow, on on we're going to be doing a live action to check out the new NBA. But I wanted to just listen to this. This is E.T. Season song called Aurora. Yeah, I'll be doing another live stream tomorrow. And congratulations to the winner of my last giveaway on Spring. Um, he won a um, 80s album, but since I couldn't send it to him, because I couldn't buy it for him, I buy it for him because of. Since I couldn't buy it from directly due to um, due to Brazil being kind of like strict in their um, I guess their I guess customs and stuff, I had to buy him a gift card and he's gonna buy the album himself. So. Hopefully he gets the album and he gets to enjoy it. This is up for anyone else who does enter one of my giveaways in the future. If you do happen to live in Brazil, please let me know. Because if you live in Brazil, I can't really buy you stuff. Um, so just um, so what you do is on your oh yeah, you are second place, yeah. You actually did pretty well on that. I didn't think a lot of people would do as well as they did on the East Place. Next album giveaway might be either Red Red Velvet or Twice. One of the one of the two. Might be Red Velvet though. Red Velvet. I mean, I could do like the album that they just released, the Zimzala Bim, which actually Zimzala Bim is actually I'm I. 
I'm starting to like it more now. Like at first, I wasn't really that much of a fan of it, and now I'm liking that song a lot more. Like it's, it's, it's stinging to me. Yeah, it's in the then. But congratulations again to K-pop lyrics. I'll probably be in the live stream in a couple of minutes, but congratulations to her. Um, I should read you guys her comment if you guys want to hear it. Um, just so that way you guys can see it. Um, um, you know what I mean? That way, you know, people can see what K-pop means to other people and we can kind of see what people think about the, um, the genre. So for her comment, it says, I like K-pop because, because of the impact it has on me. I've always loved international music and I feel like the, the, they connect with me more than American music does, even though I don't, I don't know language. It just goes to show that language is not a factor in determining good music. I use K-pop as, as a means to calm myself, make make myself happy and it is a way for me to de-stress whenever I find myself in a stressful situation. I listen to K-pop every single day. If I could bring back any group, I, it would be for me. They were my ultimate K-pop group and, I, and it hurt so much the day I found out they they no longer be together. Those girls meant so much to me and the music Brought me through a lot. They taught me. They taught me to always be myself. I miss them so much. I, just, I still listen to them to this day, but the fact that they wouldn't never have another song makes me so sad. So, yeah, that was her comments. Um, so, I gotta say, I do agree about the the reason why she likes K-pop, because that's kind of almost some of the reason why I like it. That and it's a uh, that and it's a good way to get get away from like music all the drug sex money. And I do miss for a minute as well. I miss all these like one minute, car, one nigga, s star. Yeah, K-pop changes everyone's life. Like, once you, once you start listening to it, you, you just can't stop listening to it. And it's just saying that it really changes a lot of people's lives. Especially like BTS. BTS just changed my life a lot. Like, about BTS, it changed my life so much. It made me kind of um, love myself for who, learn to love myself for who I am, and you know what I mean. Learn, learn to just you know, you gotta first love yourself before you before you can love a, anyone else. You know what I mean. You gotta, you know what I mean. It about self love and everything. Yeah, all all the old school groups. I also miss BEG. BEG. I wish they would they would come back, but BEG hasn't. Hasn't gonna come back in how long? I don't know if this so still. Anything? Anything in the mail for me? Huh? Okay. I'll be right back. Anything in the mail for me? Okay. 
Damn. All right, so congratulations to the winner. Um, I'll play the invitation for like a few more minutes and I'll end it. But um, congratulations to the winner. Um, hope you do enjoy your merch. Hopefully you do enjoy your merch merch prize. Um, of you know, getting the albums. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy your merch prize of winning the merch set, which brings, gives you like albums, and mini posters, you get stickers, you get photo cards, and all that stuff. Hope you, hope you do enjoy your prize. Um, so as soon as you email me, I'll try to email you back. Um, and I'll start taking the pictures and sending it to you as soon as I get a chance to do it. There's, um, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do it because I've been having a busy schedule recently, but I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. And I also have to make albums that we all can find for year one. These are the other two albums I want to show you guys before I end the live stream. For the giveaway as well, you get a Sunny album as a choice as well. And if I can find my... Um, you also get some things alone. Alone zero one album as a choice. And then if I can find it, I will also be giving up my Park Bomb album as well. A recent mini album that she released. Um, I'm actually going to be giving away her solo mini album as well. But yeah, so congratulations to the winner again. Um, Yeah, seventeen are seventeen's a really good group. I mean I really do I, I, I like seventeen, the music is really good. Um I mean there's a lot of groups out there. I just love pretty much shit. Like basically if you if you watch my channel and you guys know what type of music I base with and stuff, I basically love almost every single K pop group there is out there. Like if you name a group, I probably listen to them and I probably like them. It probably isn't one group that you know well there are some groups that i don't like but you know majority like 90 percent of the k-pop groups out there i probably listen to them and i do like the music the other 10 percent either i haven't heard of them or i just don't like them but 90 percent of them oh i never heard of neon punch so you know that's a group i'll go check out That's on the that's on the ten percent list. The group that I haven't either heard of or I haven't haven't um or I just don't like because I haven't heard of them. Um, I have a anime channel. I yeah, I released an anime channel not too long ago where I talk about anime and stuff. I released a channel where um. Because I really, I really gotten into my anime right now. I've been watching like a lot of anime. I just not so long ago I finished watching the whole um like couple couple at least a couple months ago. I just finished watching all the episodes of My Hero Academia all the way up to season the end of season three, and now I'm waiting for season four to come out in October. And I'm all caught up right now on Black Clover. I got all the way up to the current episode of season two. And now I'm slowly starting to watch like other enemies like um the um Attack on Titans, which I'm not really falling behind Attack on Titans. It's kind of like um Game of Thrones, which I I mean I watch I've seen like a couple episodes of Game of Thrones and I'm not like a big fan of Game of Thrones, but I will watch it though. 
Similar to Attack on Titans. They are. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And I'm also watching Blue, um, Blue Exorcist, which I actually just started. But yeah, um, and also on that channel, the Hawaiian Hawaiian Anime Time channel, I also did a review on the BTS movie. And yeah, did you guys did you guys hear they're making a new BTS movie? Like I heard on the news that they're making a new BTS movie coming out to the theaters. So this time when the BTS movie comes out, this one. I'm going to try to see where they're going to be playing it. I'm going to be going to the theater and watching it in theaters. I'm waiting for when they come. I'm waiting for when they release the movie and then I'm going to go to the theater and watch it with people. Because it's not, it, it doesn't feel as satisfying watching from home, but if you watch in the theater, you know what I mean? Then hopefully I can make some friends who are into BTS because none of my, none of my friends in real life are into BTS or just K-pop in general. I don't have any K-pop friends in my life. Like, I literally don't. I had a girlfriend for a short for a short period of time that was into K-pop, but then we broke up, so... Yeah, I had a girlfriend that was into K-pop, um, but we kind of broke up, so... Things didn't really work out, but, you know, it was, was alright. But I would love to make some friends who are into K-pop, like, really. Like, I go to K-pop concerts, but I never really run into anyone who, like, because people that I see at the K-pop concerts, that they go with their friends who are already into K-pop. And then, you know what I mean? It's like, people go in groups with friends who already are into, into the genre. And then when I go, I'm just like a guy who goes by himself because none of my friends want to go because they just don't like the genre of music. But it's like... It's like it's it's lonely, lonely size to go to a concert and you know you're going by yourself because none of your friends are into genre music and none of your friends want to even attempt to try to get into genre music. Especially when all your friends tell you like, why do you listen to genre music when you don't understand what they're saying? Like you don't understand what they're saying. What's the point on what's the point on listening to the music? You know what I mean? Like, you should listen to music where you understand what you're saying, like American music, or like reggae music, or... My friend always tries to get me to listen to his genre of music that he likes, which is country, and I just can't fall behind country music. Like, I, I can't. Like, I heard maybe one or two good country songs, and that's probably about it. Like, the one they play at the carnival at the time, I can't remember the name of the song. Yeah, they do. That's why I tell them, like, just read the subtitles. I mean, if you really want to know what they're saying, but music, you don't have to understand what they're saying to, to, for the music to be good. I mean, basically, like what you said in her comment, like, you don't have to understand language to enjoy the music. You know what I mean? Music is good no matter what you, what you do. That's why, like, that's why I love my K-pop. I love J-pop. I love C-pop. I love Q-pop, even though my dad doesn't like Q-pop because when I play when I play Q-pop in the car, which is Cosmic Stamp Pop, my dad says, oh, it's so, like, um, so, like, boring sounding music. It sounds like dreary, you know, sad music. But Q-pop is actually pretty good. I actually really do enjoy Q-pop. Um, like, Q-pop is, like, becoming, like, my second or third favorite genre of music. Um, next to K-pop, like, Q-pop has been really... <laughs> So try to keep the people at home. 
I wish you can learn the language from just this is At this song is down, I'm probably gonna end watching here. Yeah, guys, so, um, again, congratulations to the winner. We have to song, we're gonna end the live stream here. Yeah, that's why I'm going, I'm going to watch the movie, and hopefully I can make friends who are actually into Wait, But yeah. I kind of made somewhat friends with some of the people who work at a K-pop store, like, literally five maybe like two or three stores down from where I work. Like I work in a shopping center, there's a key pod, so I literally a few stores down. But I kind of made friends with the, like some of the workers there. Like I talk to them sometimes about K-pop, you know what I mean? Like, but it's not really anything really like, you know, like official kind of thing. Like we're not like official friends. Like it's not, I get the phone number, we can talk and chat, we can, you know, hang out. That's why I'm going to this BTS movie and we're gonna be trying to um I might actually film a little bit like do like a little vlog of me going to a movie and seeing all the people there to watch the BTS movie and be like this is all the BTS fans here in Hawaii. Bring the show. Actually, I'll probably do like a trailer um reaction tomorrow on stream. So follow me on stream. Um, I'm gonna end the live stream here, but um, follow me on stream tomorrow. We'll be doing a live stream where we'll check out the um the trailer tomorrow of the BTS movie and all the other NBs that I've been missing because I've been missing like a lot of K-pop recently because I've been just crazy busy at work and. Everything like when I come home from work, I'm usually so tired and everything because I've been working like plenty of overtime at work and everything. So, because I've been working a lot of overtime and everything, I come home tired, not wanting to do anything. And even before work, I, I sleep in like so long that I usually don't get too much time to do stuff because I start like at 1 30 in the afternoon and then I finish at like 10 30 usually. But then when I finish at like 10.30, I usually go eat. Then I'm pretty much so tired, I don't want to really do anything then. And then I usually end up just getting myself to sleep in. So I sleep in so late that I don't get too much time to do stuff. So yeah. But yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing a live stream. Tomorrow, I don't know what time, maybe about 12 o'clock-ish. Probably about 12 o'clock-ish or so, maybe 11. 11 o'clock, 12, 11 to maybe 12 p.m. 11 a.m. to maybe 12 p.m. Hawaii time if you want to do the Nishman live stream tomorrow. So if you want to check me out tomorrow, we'll be doing the live stream tomorrow to check out all the, the MVs and all the stuff that I've been missing in K-pop. I've been missing a lot, so we're going to check out all of them. I've been missing a lot of comebacks, guys, and that's because I've been really busy. So, yeah. And yeah, that is it, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content and videos. Click that bell notification to get notified when new videos come out because I don't release videos as as often as I'd like to anymore. 
And also, don't forget to subscribe to Hawaiian Anime Time to check out um, anime-related videos and stuff like that. And when I do watch the BTS movie, I do a review on that. I also do movie reviews in there, so I talk about movies. I do like recaps and I do like little reviews on movies and stuff. And also, I do vlogs in there too. So I'm gonna. I did one vlog already where I showed you guys the store that I go to, um, the K-pop store. And yeah. Um, a day in the life of a uh, K-pop fan, I guess. But that's it. Come back for our videos. See you. Peace.